All right, guys, what's up? Coach Joe here. And uh, if you guys didn't know, I uh, tore my bicep. So you can go watch that video. Yeah. <laughs> we still have it loaded, dude. We didn't, yeah, we didn't he's trying to make eye contact. The bar will never it. leave from where it sits and lies at the same weight. 142 pounds. Until I will come back and re-curl that bar at the end of this road recovery series. That's but right. the best way to come back from a bicep tear is to do arms. No, you're wrong. It's to do arm. To do arm. Yes, the singular. So we're going to do a whole single arm workout, starting with arms, uh, a little bit of triceps, a little bit of chest. And basically the reason we're doing this is because we've read the peer review articles on the interwebs. And what they said was that if I train one arm, it's going to grow my other arm, maybe about 20%, or at least I'll get 20% of the work mm -hmm. to transfer over. So the worst thing I could do is not do anything, right? I mean, yeah, that's true. The worst thing I could do is not work out with you. So I'm going to do my right arm as he does his left arm or my right side as he does his left side. So it's been proven that if your workout partner does the other side while you do the one side, then that 20% turns into 50%. This is compound gains. Yeah. They didn't teach that in economics, but we're teaching it to you now. So can, that's Can you explain do. the physics behind that? No, we cannot. It's beyond the viewer's comprehension. Why is this sort of cute? Is it cute? Sync up. Sync up with me. Yeah, there we go. This is a bodybuilders try synchronized lifting, swimming. Dude, we should do this in a public gym. That'd be fun. And just not like a really crowded one. You have a nice just, little like, like do an entire workout synchronized with one body part like this. Just don't say anything. With stringers. Of course, yeah, and fanny packs and gallon jugs. Would you? What type of music would be playing in the background? Well, it's a public gym, so you have to tell them to stop playing the music so that you can record the video. Just like this. Some gyms would discriminate against this, though. Well, how so? Well, you claim to be judgment free, yet if you walk in with a water jug, mm. you have cut off muscle shirts, and Dang. you grunt, we can't train there. Well, that's why we're training here. I didn't catch that on film. He's coming at me with his glutes. Oh, yeah, you can't let them butts touch. Oh, don't make me do it, man. I'm going to throw you into that wall. No hip <laughs> Joey just seriously threatened me, dude. He said he's going to throw me. I got strong me. glutes. I mean, he said I he's going to throw me into a wall. Strong right bicep, but I got a strong right butt cheek. Working. This is one of the best grippers ever. I was actually... The way he bought some, right? Yeah, well, I was in Tennessee when we used them. You can uh, check out that video where we're training chess with Antoine. And uh, these things just hit differently. I don't know why. Like, I can't explain it, but they do. They do. They do. So I bought a pair, and uh, now they're at my gym. And I love them. So, love training triceps. Sorry, sir. Can I use a lat pull down? Yes. You may work in. Okay. <laughs> triceps instead. Come on, Joe, you stay in sync, bro, come on. I'm moving faster. I know, I'm doing more reps. Oh, I am not gonna be that guy again. Come on, we gotta go open weight. <laughs> come on, I just did more reps. What do you think? I'm thinking that this is uh, it's gonna be a fun process. Yeah, fun, I like that word. Yeah, it's fun, you know, you're always learning about yourself, right? Uh, like you really learn a true test of character of what happens when these situations present, right? You pack it up, you go home, sit there and cry about it, woe is me, come up with excuses, or you just be a freaking lion and man up and make the best of the situation. That's what we're doing here, you know? Do you like the fact that I filmed half of that motivational speech just looking at your tricep? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's really about all that matters. Uh, you don't want to see this thing. It is whatever I got on my face right now. Handlebar mustache. Because I take life really seriously. As you can tell. <laughs> I have a clear difference. There's a little difference. Yeah. That, there's a, there is a difference. There's a, well, you can't flex your arm. I, I can flex my other arm still, see? Yeah, I can't flex. And if I try Trying to flex, it's pretty painful. I see the difference, guys? Can I make it back a little bit? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you can see the difference. Yeah. I'm trying to get a little bit of a white background. Okay. 
Flex? That's my good arm. Well, that's the one I'm pumping up. That's the one I haven't done anything with. So the other one definitely looks pumped. It definitely yeah. looks pumped? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Can... The good thing is you can realize your limits after you do something like I did, so. I'm gonna settle down right there while we do. Have you ever uh, had a, a bad injury? Yeah, of course. What's your worst injury? Ankle sprain. Okay, and what'd you do? I did a cheat 900 double into an aerial. That sounds like a cheat code for a video game. Yeah, and I misplaced my foot at a cheat 900 because someone gave me bad advice and told me to face my foot forward upon landing and it straightened out the aerial. And when I went to the aerial, the foot was facing forward, which was wrong, and it rolled and my ankle exploded. You could hear a pop across the whole gym. And then I had to drive home for four hours, my foot hanging out the window with an ice bag and no painkillers. Was it your left foot? It was my left foot, yes. I say, if it was your right foot, that'd be kind of weird driving. Yeah, yeah, no, I was driving like this. The foot out the window. Wow. Wait, wait, can we, one more time. Well, He's one of the guys that can easily just throw his leg up on top yeah. of the bench. Needed yeah, to. yeah. Well, it uh, set me back for six months. And so what, what did you do? Like, how, what was the recovery process like? Well, I found out I could deadlift on it like a few days later. Okay. You know, a pretty good amount of weight, but I couldn't jump for about two or three months. Like, literally couldn't, like, leave the ground. Wow. And uh, I started rolling the bottoms of my feet with, like, PVC roller, like, in the morning and then in the evening, and my recovery started to go up very fast. Like, that was a big deal for okay. my body, apparently. That was something that was needed to help kind of get to the next level of recovery. Yeah. And then I was able to start doing cartwheels gotcha. and stuff like that. And then, uh, actually, the explosion in my ankle happened on March 9th, and around August, September, and October of that year is my best I've ever tricked in my life. Wow. So it was not only a full recovery, well, not... You know, I had to deal with it still, but I was still able to be the best I could possibly be in my lifetime in yeah, the yeah. sport of tricking that yeah, year. That's so. huge. So it's good that you kind of got back on the saddle, got some blood flow to the muscle yeah. and the ankle and, you know, had a great year. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard. But upper body every day? It was upper body for a long time, yeah. A lot of ring work. Uh, I got really good at gymnastics rings because of it right. that year. I mean, it's a silver really lining, good. right? There's always some, like, always some positive yeah. you can take away from the situation. You know, you can focus on something else that maybe you weren't focusing on before. But I think what we're trying to say, the worst thing you do is not do anything. Correct. Stop not doing anything and do stuff. Yep. It's tough mentally, but it's going to be way better off than if you just, you know, can it and don't do anything. Yeah. And I mean, the Mulligan Brothers will pull you through. Are they still on? Yeah, yeah man. They definitely are. So, the Mulligan Brothers motivational video. God. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's do another set. What are we doing now? So now we're gonna move on to chest. So we're just trying to show you guys some different exercises. Uh, we're hitting biceps, the triceps, uh, chest. So this is a one arm press. Let's see here, uh, counterbalance. Okay, that's pretty good. It's not bad. This feels like it's gonna take forever, but you know. So this whole phase is gonna be experimental. You know, figuring out what I can handle, what feels all right, what hurts. Uh, basically, uh, extension of the uh, elbow hurts. Uh, like a lockout, I can't fully lock my arm out, so I'm kind of keeping it in like a sling position. And that internal rotation of the wrist bothers. So going from like a supinated position to a, a pronated position really bothers. Uh, but, you know, just trying to play around, get creative. And then slowly over time, you know, hopefully all this work will help recovery and uh, we'll be back at it in no time guys in the meantime you're getting a sick pump yeah sick pump <laughs> we're getting a sick pump like crazy we're gonna be training legs i never thought i'd say that like all the time because i was taking a break from legs but you're a monster yeah I'm, I'm feeling feeling good about what's to come look at this watch me here i'm gonna try to relax my left side as much as possible the side i'm not working like look at my chest okay i'm gonna try as hard as i can to relax okay right? I'm not nipples moving. I mean, I'm really trying to relax it like super hard because if I just go normally, that happens. Mm. What I'm showing you is the damn thing's contracting. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Like, so the other side is like, I mean, it's stabilizing, but 
There's still something going on. There's still something going on, on the other side. So, yeah, I, I'm interested. Joey, look at my arm. Touch it. Touch it. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! You can't see my face. It's blocking out the sun of this thing. Thank you. I also heard that with the surgery I would need to get, it's actually going to make my bicep look better. Yeah, it hurts from Antoine. So, and I've, I, other people also had told me too, so this, this, you know, isn't just a myth. So I'm a little bit excited about that as well. Everyone's like, oh, don't get surgery, man. It's just screw you up forever. Here, it may look pretty good. Static bonus. That's a beautiful thing. How can someone say that absolutely about surgery? It's just like, don't get surgery, it's like the worst thing ever. Because everyone I don't know how to get that tumor out of my body, bro. Why not? Everyone like, says it because it's scar tissue, right? Yeah. It's the scar tissue. You're gonna lose range of motion, it's gonna like not make you look as good. But guys, the medical industry has come so far and they're so proficient and advanced with what they do that things are like the best they've ever been right now. Like, sure, yeah. You know? Yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it. Dentistry has sure come a long way. Do you see these things? Do you see these things? They're you. Okay. <laughs> what about you? My teeth, I haven't got them done. You know how many people have got their teeth done? How many people I've worked with have gotten their teeth done? A ton. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're all fake teeth, bro. They're all, what? Yeah, dude. Like a ton of the people I've worked with have got totally fake teeth. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with my mouth right now my teeth. That's not on my to-do list. This is a weird tangent. Why did we come down there? Because it's interesting and the audience doesn't know it, so just leave it in the video. Yeah. Well, you're just, yeah. you're just. People that... want more just, just talk. They want to hear, like. They're in the gym with us every single day. We get it. We love you guys, and you're here with us. But sometimes we don't want to talk about the gym. That's what we talk about. Teeth. Now we're talking about teeth. There's a, a horror movie called Teeth. Don't watch it. We found this standing multi-flight machine, and we've modified it for a single-arm fly with a circular wheel. Uh, it's a fancy way of saying we're doing the chest still one side at a time. We're doing uppercuts. Uppercuts. Upper Did you say apricots? Chest cuts. I haven't had an apricot. Apricots. Oh, no apricot flavor pre-workout, guys. <laughs> Wait, is there an apricot flavor pre-workout in existence? HD. I have never heard of that. I want more orange flavor. Oh, there's tons of oranges and peaches. For good reason, they're great, but apricot flavor pre-workout's the future, bro. What about pistachio? Protein powder, right? Pistachio flavor protein powder we're pretty good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Joey's decided we're working with. And Joey, you're gonna give me a turn or not? What the fuck? <coughs> Jeez, man. Sorry, dude. Good set. Sorry. Good set. All right. Oh, I guess I have to come to the other side. I mean, you want my good side or my bad side? <laughs> you know how many people at Expos like, want to take a picture? Like, oh, no, man, I'm gonna switch sides. Good side, bad side. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, you come on, man. You got it. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <coughs> I keep doing that. I'm not respectful, I'm sorry. Alright. John just keeps trying to push my limits. I just know how strong you actually are. Yes. Your audience doesn't know it. I know how you strong you are. You don't know it. No one freaking knows it. I know how strong you actually are. It's scary. But sometimes you gotta know when to ease up on the gas pedal, right? Sometimes you gotta use some of that, those lifting gears we talk about that we have under our lifting belts. I wanted to chill a little bit. I was running into some problems. So like when you come near a cliff? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta pump the brakes a bit or else your car is flying off with no parachute. <laughs> Thelma and Louise style. Yeah. Yeah, we're like uh, Beetlejuice where you just drive straight the bridge. Yeah, that's Wait, nice what? Too. Beetlejuice can drive? No, Beetlejuice can't drive. That'd be scary. <laughs> That That's why he scary. went off a bridge. Yeah, Beatles just could drive. That'd be very scary. That's horrifying. Like, say it one more time and uh, yeah, we'll summon more, him. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> Besides, With our, our sides and our strength, we would be... <laughs> we'd be Captain Natty. <laughs> we would be Captain Natty. We would be Natty Zaddy. Natty Zaddy. Is that a new microwave brand? <laughs> yeah. It's my new Instagram name. Addy Zaddy. Let me think of that. Oh, I know why. Oh. 
Yeah, wow, well, I'm feeling that. Man. Yeah, it's good. Oh, there hand we go. Yes. Hand me drop? Oh, yeah, you got me there. <sighs> Whoa. There you go. A couple years, I could be a bodybuilder. Yeah, you can. I'm going to show this arm. Actually, no, this arm will great. What do you think we should just, you know, even if you don't have a uh, torn arm, you can train one side of your body one day of the week and another side of your body the other day of the week. On a side split. No! Oh! <laughs> but not. That's clever. A side split. That's clever. That's clever. That's clever. So one, oh, yeah. First half of the week you do left, second half of the week you do right. Give it a shot. Good. All right. So I've been deemed an overhead specialist, so it kind of makes sense to just do some overhead work. Uh, so we got some unilateral. Overhead pressing on this machine, you can use dumbbells, but when you're here, I like playing with all the new toys. I actually just got a Cybex overhead machine at the gym, so something very similar that I'm excited to use. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's pretty much what we have on tap, guys. Making do with uh, the best we can here in the situation and trying to train one side, get the transfer over to the other side. I'm going to be documenting the whole process. Once I'm able to actually use my arm a little bit, you'll see how I'm slowly progressing into that, the recovery with the surgery, et cetera. Uh, but, you know, I just want to say thanks to Juji for having me in here. Let me use these equipment, give me ideas. We've been playing around with a bunch of different stuff for the last several days. Uh, unfortunate, but we made the best of the situation for what we had. Oh, yeah. Uh, so. yeah. Thanks for letting me be in your videos again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say it, but you keep bombing this channel. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a couch crasher, <laughs> party crasher. Bombing. Crashes. What? Bombing. That has a negative connotation. What? What has a negative? Bombing. Bombing. Okay. Yes. Well, I don't know. Then what think of a different word. Crashing. 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 Crashing the channel. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll be here like every month. So. You're not that goofy long right. hair guy again. Oh God. No. 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 <laughs> this one. I want to do a side. I want to do my side here. <laughs> you want me to keep going? Oh, well, this does feel good. You gotta kind of lean into it. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that's no problem. I like it. This works. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Whew. Right over here. 